When you first get into photography, chances are that you're going to be on a crop sensored camera. And this is basically a smaller camera with a smaller sensor. At some point in your photographic career or your hobby, you may be tempted to get a full frame camera. When you do, if you stick with the same brand, you may be tempted to use those crop sensored lenses on that full frame camera. Or you may be looking online and see a deal for a really good lens at a really cheap price that has a really wide aperture. This normally means that it's made for APS-C cameras and not full frame cameras. First of all, you need to be really careful if you are putting a crop sensored lens onto a full frame camera. Some of the older lenses protrude a little bit into the sensor bay, so just be very careful. With the Sonys, you have the E mount for APS-C and the FE mount for full frame cameras. With the Canons, you have the EFS for APS-C cameras and the EF for full frame cameras. Then with Nikon, you have the DX lenses for crop sensor cameras, and then you have the FX lenses for full frame cameras. Now the problem with this prefix that camera manufacturers put on their lenses is that some of the third party manufacturer lenses like Sigma and Tamron don't put them on certain lenses. So for instance, Sony's, it may say E mount, but then in the description, it says, full frame coverage. So technically it should be an FE mount. So a full frame E mount lens. Basically a lens that's made for a crop sensored camera can be smaller. And this is because it doesn't have to produce a big projected image. That sensor is smaller, so the projected image can be smaller. Whereas a full frame lens has to project a big enough image to cover that full frame sensor. Therefore, full frame lenses have to be bigger because they have to produce a bigger projected image. Now, if you do put a lens that's made for a crop sensored camera on a full frame camera, what you'll find is that projected image will sometimes be smaller than the actual sensor. So you'll get hard vignettes on either side. Here's some sample images taken with the Sigma 16 mm f1.4 on the full frame Sony a7 III. As you can see, it produces hard vignettes when you're in the full frame mode. So if you've just bought a full frame camera, be very careful about what lens you buy and make sure in the description, it's either got one of those prefixes to the name or it says it gives you full frame coverage. With my 10 to 18 millimeter from Sony at 15 millimeters, it just about covers the full frame sensor, but at 10 millimeters and at 18 millimeters, it really doesn't. And you can see the hard vignette. So in theory, I could use this on my a7 III at 15 millimeters but it wouldn't produce a really nice image. At the edges, it'd be really distorted and quite soft. And then when I go to 10 or when I go to 18, I'd really see that hard vignette. And this is one of the reasons why Sony has that Super 35 or crop sensor mode. Because if you do have a crop sensored lens, you can then switch it to this function and then it will reduce the amount of sensor that it'll take a readout from. Now, this function may sound really good, but if you're taking photographs, you're losing a lot of megapixels. With the a7 III, if you go into crop mode and take a photograph, you'll get around about, I think it's about a nine megapixel image. So that's quite small in today's standards. So if you are new to full frame photography and maybe you've just picked up a full frame camera, be very careful about what lens you buy. You need to make sure it either has that prefix to the lens or that it says that it gives full frame coverage in the description. I've looked at a few lenses and I've thought about buying them, but then I've realized they're crop sensored lenses. Now, do you shoot with a full frame camera or are you a crop sensored shooter? Let me know in the comments below. It'll be great to hear your thoughts. Now, if you want to shoot the stars with a crop sensored camera, click on this next video here. Or if you want to shoot the stars with a full frame camera, click on this video down here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly tutorials in photography. I'll see you next time.